Okay, here we are. Here's your small engine. We've already gone over how to check for spark and to check the compression, so I'm not going to do that again. You got your tool kit, you got your cups. Your engine would come in a bucket like this. That's actually two buckets, so make sure that your bucket is marked accurately with your engine number on all four sides. All right? And you're going to need two buckets by the time you have this all ripped apart. You have your booklet. And there's the pictures inside to follow, plus this video, you should be all set. So, uh, the only tools you might need other than what's in your kit, maybe a slot screwdriver to undo the air cleaner assembly. So there's your air cleaner, take that off. All right, keep it all together. And then, since we've already checked for spark, uh, I can take my spark plug out here, put it in a cup, there we go. Now, to take the lid off, uh, 7 sixteenths, so you need your ratchet and extension and a 7 sixteenths. Uh, there we go. Make sure you're going counterclockwise to loosen the bolts. One, two, three. Take them off. This is the air lid that has the recoil in it for the starter. And make sure you mark your cups accurately with what bolts are going in there. So this would say starter cover bolts on it. And take a marker, a permanent marker. You can bring one with you or um, ask the teacher for one and then you can mark your cup. All right, I'm gonna speed up the process here. I know this is cylinder head, but I'm just quickly going, trying to make a very short, quick video so you get the idea. All right, so there we go, put that in there. Two bolts holding on this little cover here. Uh, those are quarter inch. So let's find quarter inch, there we go. All right. Bucket. Mark your bucket again with, those are um, the, uh, you could say the flywheel shroud, flywheel metal shroud, you could call it that. Oh, someone's got the wrong one in here. This is way too long. This is not even the right bolts in here. Oh my goodness. Who put this together? All right, there we go. There we are, flywheel shroud. This is the, um, the uh, one-way clutch. Brass hammer. All right, tap it counterclockwise without breaking the fins. All right, so it'll spin off now. Notice inside of this thing, I'm gonna take it apart so you can see it. Ball bearings, all right? So don't lose those. Okay, that's the one-way starter clutch. We have our flywheel. To get that off, you take a, um, a pry bar, put it underneath like this, so underneath, and pop it up. If it won't come loose, if it's really tight, you take the brass hammer, not a regular hammer, but a brass hammer, and smack it like that. And there's your flywheel. And the part in here I do not want you to lose is the flywheel key right there, that little key. Little piece of aluminum, very important. So put that in its own little container. We got our flywheel. All right, now what we're gonna do is take the ignition coil off. All right, and this is the, um, that's your air vane for the governor. So that's quarter inch on one of the bolts here on the one side and 5 16 on the other. Notice how the air vane, oh, do not break this air vane, it's plastic, so you gotta be very careful not to break it. I don't want to hear about someone breaking the air vane on there, so notice it's a, what holds the air vane on, onto the coil, is this long silver bolt. There it is, silver and long, okay? Put it on the shroud, plus the other little bolt here holding the other end of the coil on. That long silver bolt was 5 16 the smaller one is quarter inch. There it is, goes in there with it. I undid the little pigtail here, the little uh, connector, electrical connector that goes onto the coil. So there's our ignition coil that makes the high voltage for the spark. All right, now, the air vane just came off. There was a 
some linkage here that went onto it. I'm gonna have to show each of you that individually. Well, not individually, but I'll show you guys as a class, next class, how this goes together. So we got that off there. I'm gonna put that with the coil bolts so I know they go together. All right, now I'm gonna take the gas tank off and this is the carburetor. I'm gonna take it all off as one. Make sure this is still recording. Yes, it is, good. All right, so uh, we have a bolt here and a bolt back here. So this one back here is 7 16 So I'll undo that. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it's tighter than I thought. By the way, you notice I got on two wood blocks. Uh, so that way, it, the, um, the crankshaft, which runs through the bottom, this way it keeps it off the ground. So it's a little easier to work this way. So put on two wood blocks when you take it apart. go. I'm going to move my, start a new container now. So one bolt and the one over here, that one is actually a 3 8 hmm. Usually it's a half inch there, so, or 7 16 Depends on your engine. Oh, someone's got the wrong socket in here and that's even the wrong bolt. Oh my goodness. So you might have to, might have to improvise. Okay, when I take this bolt out, there's a spacer that goes between the, uh, the, the gas tank and the engine block itself, so I'll show you here. There's the bolt. Come on. And there's the spacer, all right, right there. There's a spacer, so don't forget to put that in when you put your engine back together. And then I just pull this outwards like this, undo the connection here for the uh, air tube, and pull that back. And there's the linkage. Don't stretch this spring. I don't want to hear about anyone stretching this spring. Be very gentle with it. There's the linkage for that. You can leave that hanging like that if you want. So there's your gas tank carburetor. All right. This air tube, be very gentle with it. It's made of aluminum. So to get it out of place, you turn it counterclockwise. Okay, counterclockwise and that will come out, here's where it went in, right there. All right, it was threaded into it, so I turned it counterclockwise to take it out. So I'm gonna put that in the pocket there. All right, um, I have this intake manifold, and these were supposed to be quarter inch bolts, but we got some Robertson screws here, oh my goodness. So I have to uh, improvise again and get a Robertson screwdriver here. On yours, it should be quarter inch bolts. So this is the intake manifold. So I'm gonna have a separate connector, separate uh, cup for that. And then we have the uh, exhaust muffler. Depending on how tight it is, you might be able to turn it out by hand, otherwise you can use a pair of pliers to take it out. And then this shroud right here, or not the shroud, sorry, but this bracket right here is held on by three of the eight um, cylinder head bolts, so I have to undo those, and we need a, oh, we need a half inch socket, do we? Yep, half inch. They're going to be tight, you might need your partner to hold that for you, okay? These ones actually should be tighter than this, so someone's had this part before. Keep track of your sockets, keep track of your tools. Oh, I was supposed to put my gas tank spacer and gas tank bolt with the other bolt. There they go, we're back together. All right, so the cylinder head bolts now for this three that hold on the bracket. When you put it back together, don't forget to put this bracket on before you put these cylinder head bolts back in. There we go. And you'll notice the wire, there's a wire that goes into the back of the bracket here. I'm just gonna push in the little pigtail and pull that out. There we go. And there's all the linkage with the bracket. I'm gonna leave that together as one in its own separate, well, with those three bolts I just took out for that bracket. So together, and there's the wire. See how it goes through this shield? I'm gonna pull that out and put that with it. All right, this shield will now come out. There we go. It just sat underneath like that. All right, and let's take off the rest of the bolts. Now I can move this out of here. For now, these box. 
Let's take out the rest of these bolts really quick. I'm trying to go as fast as I can here so the video is not too long. All right. When you guys do it, I want you to take your time so you can inspect the parts as you go, so you can memorize where each part goes. I've done this many times, so I don't need to really go as slow as you guys are going to be going because this will be a first for many of you. All right, just about there with that one. And one more. So this is the cylinder head and the cylinder head bolts. I'm going to put them in their own just doing a little video here. <laughs> so there's the cylinder head and cylinder head bolt. So I'm going to put that in there. Cylinder head gasket. All right, put that in your bucket. And then the valve cover here. Undo that. So that's, uh, what are these? These are 5 sixteenths. So you need your 5 sixteenths. There you go. Undo those. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put them in their own bucket. There we go. Okay, now uh, I'm going to show you guys in a different video how to check the displacement of the engine, so I'm just going to continue on. But normally, what you would do right now is you would check the displacement. So I'm going to put a separate video on called uh, how to check engine displacement for that. All right. So let's continue. We're going to take the valves out. We have the intake valve, which is larger in diameter. The exhaust valve, which is smaller in diameter. This is the, um, the valve spring and the valve lifter down in here. So to get these out, I'm going to quickly show you this. This is the valve keeper. And as you can see, it's not round right here. It's got a little dimple out of it. And what I want you guys is to turn, it sits right in here, and I want you guys to turn the one on yours so it's facing you. So right now, there's the dimple, here's the dimple. So it's just about facing me. There we go, so it's facing out towards the camera to you guys there. And you're gonna take this tool, let's make sure we're still taping here, 12 minutes, oh my goodness. Sorry, this is gonna be a longer video than I thought. Um, you're gonna take this tool with the little cutout out of it, you're gonna put it, you're gonna push your thumb down on the top of the valve, you're gonna, you're gonna push down on the tool here so it makes it lift up here like a teeter-totter. And you're gonna push that up and snap. See that, it snapped it right out. So there we go. There's your exhaust valve. And I pull out the retainer and the spring, put that in its own bucket. Now I do the same with the intake valve, push down on the valve. I'm gonna push down on this end of the tool which will make this end go up, pops it out. There you go. Okay, so we got the valves out. Now we're gonna take the crankcase off. Now, oh, you know what I forgot to show you guys? Uh, before you even started, you should have taken out this drain plug for the oil and had a little bucket and you would have drained your oil out by taking out that little... Now there was none in here, I knew that. See, there's none coming out, but make sure you do take that out of yours before you rip any of your engine apart to make sure there's no oil in there. I'm just going to set that back in there so I don't lose it. So I'm going to turn upside down. Oh, this has to go with that. Okay. All right, now I got some bolts on the bottom. I got six bolts on the bottom. They look like 7 sixteenths to me. Oh, where is my... There we go, 7 sixteenths. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to have to do this as two videos because otherwise YouTube won't let me uh, put it on there. So that's going to be the end of video number one. This is part one of taking the engine apart. And then you're going to have to watch part two. Sorry guys, but if you want to do a good job on this, then you got to watch it, right? It's part of your mark, so do it. <laughs>